Hi friends, this is Starry. Um, <laughs> I gotta do just a real quick intro here. I try to keep it short. Uh, there's been so much support. So much support. Your love and your prayers. I am in, in, in such mm, gratitude for each and every one of you out there. Uh, you friends have inspired me. You're keeping me going. Uh, you know, it, it is proof that God is still alive. He's still in control. And, and people are good. There is hope out there. There is good out there. There really is. So... After much uh, prayer and talking to my friends and my family, it seems as though you people who have been following this homestead, this YouTube channel, uh, really have a vested interest. And I really believe that I need to keep sharing my journey on this homestead during this injury with you friends. And not every video is going to be all happy, right? Sprig, it's not always going to be happy. But what I want to do is share the things that I think are really important to help you friends prepare and maybe wake up a little bit. I mean, obviously this has been a life-changing event for myself and Mr. Hilder and, and my, my family and friends. Uh, it's, it, it has just impacted so many people. And I have to keep sharing what's going on in hopes that mm, if it does happen to you, friends, that you'll be more prepared, maybe a little bit more empowered, so important, so important. So, um, hang on here. Okay, you need to go inside. So, this video, I know, no editing. I am going to talk about something that is unfolding before my eyes. And you friends really start, you need to start taking some notes. This is the learning process. You come here to learn, right? You come here to learn, well, there's going to be a lot to learn. We're going to show it to you unfolding every week. So I'm going to go over here and sit down because I can't stand too long. But hang on. Because of my tragic accident, I was, I was definitely just thrown into the healthcare system as a patient. And I had outstanding, outstanding um, care. My doctors, every doctor, every nurse, every aide did an outstanding job. But... Uh, when you become a patient, like I am now, it is um, a very uncomfortable position to be in because number one, first of all, you see how we live, a very independent, and I am, um, my diet and everything I do here is very organic. I eat basically raw, semi-raw, uh, very athletic, very healthy, and I am not used to any type of uh, medications at all at all, ever. I mean, for me to take a Tylenol, that's a big thing. So here I am, a tragic accident. My, my, my lip is, is my, between my nose and my lip, ripped open from the pavement, ripped, ripped, just ugh, meat hanging. Um, you can see my gums, big monster hole. So, so I've got that, you know, my, my nose is, is just scraped raw. It hit, didn't break it. But, you know, there's a big hole in it. My eye, um, same thing, couldn't see out of my eye. I've got lacerations on my chin. Uh, then, you know, obviously I've got the C6, uh, the fossa and lamina cracked, fractured, not cracked, it's fractured when I flipped. And then when I hit the pavement on my back again, you know, I hit face, flip, uh, then my spine, obviously, the the injuries to just the ligaments of my spine 
So I got a lot of swelling, a lot of edema. So here I'm from one ER to um, going to another trauma center, and they're trying to sew me up and, and repair me. And, uh, yeah, I get thrown into the system. And then, of course, they send me home with medication. And I'm sure all of you, if you've been through the healthcare system, you go home with medication. And I'm just going to do real quickly my little my my little thought on farm, you know, big big pharma uh, and the government. Not a fan at all. I think I think we have the technology and and um, the know-how uh, and the talent to cure such things as cancer and ALS and diabetes and heart disease. Uh, we are leading edge and those things aren't cured yet today because the money, the government and the money. Uh, can you imagine if we cured cancer? Where would, where would, the, where would these companies go that make the, the, the meds? They'd go, they'd go belly up. What would happen to uh, 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 all of them? I, I, and I don't even, at the top of my head, I don't even know who they all are. Bristol Myers or uh, whoever they are out there, Abbott Labs. There, there'd be millions and billions of dollars lost. The government can't afford that, neither can these big pharmaceutical companies. So they're in bed with each other. And I'm not saying they're prohibiting... Uh, the, the the discovery of curing some of these things, but I, trust me, when my dad had his heart issues and he needed stem cells, you had to have a lot of money and you had to go to another country for stem cells. And these wasn't embryonic stem cells, these were stem cells from his own hip that could repair his heart. And what was going on in the United States? Oh, trials trials, clinical trials, and, and there's no need. They were already doing it in Europe, in other countries. They were saving people with stem cells, you know, curing them. <laughs> Not in this country. No, 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 the FDA, they, no, no, no. So they're still trialing stem cells. It's ridiculous. So uh, that's what I would talk about. I know this is a long intro. I'm sorry. But uh, I want to show you what they sent me home with about the medicine that they sent me home with. And here's a disclaimer. I have to do a disclaimer. Friends, let's use some common sense. There are medications that you need, right? And I'm by no means advocating that these are poisonous. <laughs> they were poisonous for Starry, okay? And the point of me talking about this is that one day, we may not have pharmaceuticals at our disposal. What if the SHTF really did hit the fan? Okay, what if? What if there's Hurricane Sandy or Hurricane Bob and it wipes out um, the pharmacies in your area and you can't get your pills, okay? Um, there's alternatives and I wanna talk about alternatives in this, in this video because I'm all about empowering you friends to be more independent and self-sufficient and we're missing the boat here. We're we're thinking that this stuff is always going to be available and it's not. It may not be. And furthermore, we have been taught that we need these, that this is the only way we can treat ourselves. And friends, it's not. It's not. So don't stop taking your medications by no means. By no means. I don't want I want you to whatever you're on, just keep taking. But for Starry, it's been poisonous. Remember, I have a very healthy diet. I'm very athletic. We live a very pure and simple lifestyle up here. I rarely eat anything processed. So when I started taking this stuff, it became poison to me. Poison. You want to see what what it did? Poison? L look. Can you see? Um, it's actually it's getting a little bit better, but my whole body is riddled with like the most disgusting. Can you see that rash? It is. Look at that. That's what happened to me. This rash is so bad. It is everywhere. It's. It hurts. It's painful. It's itchy. I was having um, little papules the other day. That's 
it's coming out of me because my body cannot stand those toxins and for me they're toxic so i have to have uh alternative alternative uh, treatments to, to address my pain my pain's not going away uh, and and I have to heal my tissue and my face and my teeth and my gum and my bones. And what happens if I didn't have uh, access to all of this? Well, what do I rely on? I have to rely on my knowledge. And this is where I'm trying to empower you, friends. So well, let's talk about the, these poisonous things they send me home with. Okay, the first thing they sent me home with was some type of hazardous uh, chemical that probably is being transported by some semi-truck right now and is probably spilt all over the highway toxifying people and they got their hazmat suits out. Yeah, chlorhexidine gluconate. <laughs> this is what they want me to put in my mouth. This, look at that. And then, and then let's let's rinse let's rinse out your mouth first, and then we want you to down some amoxicillin, right? Because you know you have you're you're susceptible now. Your mouth has been ripped open. We got to make sure that you don't you don't get any infection. Well, what's the problem with American healthcare? That's all we do is prescribe antibiotics. So I just stopped taking that. I was taking that for a while and then I thought, what am I doing? This is the stuff that has has made us resistant. We do, you know, luckily I've never taken an antibiotic ever in my entire life. And I started taking some, I'm like, I have to stop because I can, I'm okay. I, you know, it's not infected as long as I keep it clean. And I'll show you some of these alternative uh, things to do so that you don't get infected and you don't have to rely on amoxicillin. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting all, I'm getting all jacked up here. Sorry. Oh, okay, I know and it's it's itching. All right, I'm not going to edit any of this. This is just like starry in the raw. Okay, so now we have to deal with the pain. And I have a lot of pain. It's debilitating. It's terrible. So they sent me home with the first thing they sent me home with. Let's see. Oh, itty, meeny, miny, mo. Um, hydrocodone. Hydrocodone. Well, take one of these, Starry. That'll help your pain. This stuff is good, right? A 5325. I'm a lightweight. So I take one. Feels like I have a bag over my head. And, and it doesn't get rid of all the pain. It just kind of puts me in a state where I've got a bag over my head. So then they're like, well, you know, you not only need that, but you know, you've got this bad, this, these, this bad, uh, you know, muscle stuff going on in your spine. We're going to give you a muscle relaxer. Yep. This stuff here. So take two of these. You'll feel great. Yeah. So I, now I have a bag over my head and I have a muscle relaxer and the muscle relaxer makes me feel like I'm on dope. So that wasn't good. So then I uh, call my doctor up. I'm like, this is just not working. I feel like I'm on dope. So she's like, oh, 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 oh I got this, you know, you're lightweight. So we're going to do this other really good stuff. And I'm sure you people have used this before, Travadol, right? So um, when they talk about side effects of Travadol, hello, this star gets every side effect. Because this stuff does work for a lot of people. But uh, one of the side effects is bad headaches and um, bad nightmares. First night, nightmare. Nightmare. I woke up sweating. And then the next day, I had this headache all day. So, and you know, and then I'm like getting sick to my stomach. Oh, don't worry. If you get sick to your stomach, we, we sent you home with something else there, Starry. You just take one of these. See? This is, this is for... Um, this is Zofran, but guess what it causes if it, if, look at, it causes a headache. I already have a headache from the Ultram, which also made me nauseated. But you know, you take, you'll take Zofran and it'll get rid of the nausea, but keep the headache, right? That didn't work. So I call her again. I call another, you know, and, the, and she's so sweet. She's like, okay, you need to take Tylenol number three. You just do that. Okay. Okay. Well, that was a bad idea because that didn't do anything for me. And then the one doctor, I didn't know I had this. Um, the one doctor, because of the trauma, he's like, you know, it's so traumatic what happened to you. We're going to, as a bonus, we're going to send her home with some Valium. Yeah, you can see Valium. You want to see Valium? There's the Valium. I didn't take any of them. I mean, of course it's traumatic. 
It's traumatic, and and I yeah, Valium's not going to do it. But look at what it does. It it yeah, the drowsiness. Um, oh man, it's it, everything's got it's just side effects. So all of this then started coming out as poison, toxic poison. So I am blessed because I have all of you out there, and all of you started contacting me and telling me about all the alternatives I should be looking at. And I am now going to pass on to you all of the alternative things that you should be looking at putting in your medicine cabinet, okay? Um, if you're on this stuff, it's okay. But I'm going to tell you right now, there's, there's a different way. And you don't need all of that. And uh, that's a fact. That's a fact. So let's go over here and I'm going to tell you some of the things that you need to start purchasing and making in an investment, an investment in you. And I'm going to make some suggestions of what I'm using and what you really should start saving your pennies for. Uh, you want to be smart and you want to be prepared. These are some of the, the things that you should have. Now this I couldn't afford, <laughs> but a lovely uh, viewer bought me this frankincense oil. This has been around since, you know, Jesus. They brought this, to one of the wise men uh, gave this to Jesus when he was a little baby, baby boy in the manger. This can be taken as a tonic or um, with a carrier, such as I used coconut oil. And what I've been using for is um, inflammation. It's very good. I mean, it's got... Uh, all different types of healing properties. It's an astringent, a disinfectant, a diuretic. It's good for your digestive system. It's a, an anti-infective. Um, but it does help with a healthy cell regeneration. So I have been putting it on mainly my, my sore spots, which is my whole neck and my, my back. Uh, and it's and, and I haven't used the tonic. I don't really need the tonic. The tonic usually can be used for if you have a cold or some oral health issues, rheumatoid arthritis. But this uh, frankincense is something that you really should have uh, in your pantry. The other thing, and you all know, and I've talked about this before, coconut oil. I, I use it for cooking. But another wonderful gift from somebody, and I couldn't afford this, but again, save your pennies because this is 100% organic coconut oil. This stuff is extra virgin. This, this is good coconut oil. And I have been taking a tablespoon and putting it in my mouth because I've got extension injuries inside my mouth. And instead of using the poison that came off the chemical truck, I'm using the natural coconut oil. And coconut oil has healing properties. It's antimicrobial, it's antifungal, it it is, um, it's got good fat. It's a saturated fat, but it has medium chain triglycerides, so it's really good. Um, it gives you great energy, good for brain. Um, they use it for people who have Alzheimer's and epilepsies. Uh, just do some research. Coconut oil, especially in this pure form, is wonderful. The other thing that I always have uh, available, and this is just real simple, it's cheap witch hazel. I've got that bad rash, so it really has been acting as a nice uh, skin astringent, um, and it does help relieve minor skin irritations. Uh, just something cheap and easy to have in your cabinet. The other, um, oh, the other thing, I had a, another very good friend who, man, she's got quite the, the extensive knowledge of herbs. She studied for many, many years, and I wish I could get her on camera to talk because she's a smart woman. And in order to be uh, more prepared and self-sustainable, she knew the value of learning herb, uh, um, um, med uh, herb medicine. She knew the value of that. You know, she said the same thing. If the SHF uh, hits the fan and we can't go to the pharmacy, uh, what do we do? Well, she said, feels the same way. Do you go out into the woods and you pick this stuff? You know your plants. Comfrey is very, very good. Uh, I'm making this into a tea, and it's for my inflammation. It's very good. Same thing for a cell re rejuvenation. Uh, it's it's just got a lot of good properties, um, and internally too. So comfrey, uh, get yourself some comfrey. You can find it growing wild. Uh, look it up to see what the plant looks like. 
The other thing uh, that I've been blessed with is I had a, a another real, um, uh, she she does the uh, 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 homopathy and, and she's a master herbalist. Her name is Julie Jankowski. And she sent me wonderful products that I couldn't afford. But again, save your money, friends, because this is an investment in you. Instead of buying that brand new car and making payments to something that's going to, you know, get old, right? You, you make your investment in stuff like this. So she sent me this BMT oil, first off, and I've been using this on my, on my um, again, on my painful back and neck. But the properties, it's an essential oil, and it's got, look at all these properties. It's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. So the BMT oil is probably something that you want in your cabinet, too. She also sent me um, herbal calcium. Calcium, you know, broken bones, I've got that fracture. And it's very important to make sure you get a good source. And she also sent me this um, osteo osteo rig too and she sent me some information along with all of it i mean she's a real export expert but this osteo um should help my bones heal also you really gotta use supplements when you have broken bones uh, especially to the extent that i have with my neck and the same thing my appetite isn't good so good old-fashioned um whole food nutrients, enzymes, and antioxidants, supplements. But it's really imperative, friends, that you have good a good source of supplements. I've learned this the hard way. Um, never skimp on your supplements. Uh, my other friend who gave me the comfrey also gave me the alfalfa. Alfalfa is good for nutrition. And then a couple other items here, too. This is Spectralite. I'm not too familiar with it, but Julie is, and she sent it. And it has, um, it, it's got electrolytes, it's, it's a systemic uh, alkalizer, pH balancer. It, pH balance is really important in your body, really important. It helps detoxify, it's good for uh, joint pain and stiffness. So I've got a, a wide variety of products here. Uh, and this one, also, I'm using this on my face. It's a complete bone and tissue. And if you look at the ingredients, uh, it has extra virgin olive oil. You know, it's got the wheat germ oil. It's got comfrey root. It's got organic mullein leaf. These are all things that you can find out in nature. And then they made it into their um, tissue and bone. But a lot of the times you don't have to spend a lot. You know, these are obviously pricey products, but they're good products. She was kind enough to send them to me uh, out of the goodness of her heart. But again, save your money, invest in good products, and invest in learning herbal medicine. Invest, you know, I just started putting up um, some videos on, on herbal medicine and I wish I could have done more before my accident because I really wanted to teach you friends about all the different um, plants that are out there that have medicinal purposes. And a lot of these products, um, you don't necessarily need to buy the products. You could just use, like my friend did, she, she picked her own comfrey and dried it. You know, you saw my outdoor dehydrator. I dehydrate St. John's Ward, and I dehydrate uh, the uh, um, the bumbleberry leaves. And you know, th that stuff is free. But empowering yourself with those products, or not those products, but those plants, the knowledge of those plants is really going to be um, important. Uh, Starry knows because here I am, and I need to heal. And I'm looking pretty bad today. And I think I better go lay down because I've talked way too much. <laughs> I really have. But I want to, that's what I wanted to share with you, friends. So, um, man, try to get off. Try to get off the pills and start looking at some herbal remedies and um, empowering yourself with some of that knowledge. Okay, I got to go lay down. I hope you enjoyed the video. And please comment if you if you want more of my journey. I really I was going to share what I've been eating and what's been fueling my body because I've I've lost a lot of weight, so I really don't have an appetite, and it's real sketchy with me eating. 
So if you friends are interested, I will share some of the recipes that, that I've been putting together here to feed my body and nourish my body so that it'll, re it, that it'll repair and heal. So I've got a long road ahead of me. All right, God bless everybody. I love you all. I really do.